So maybe you've heard about the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, but you don't know how it works? It's cool. I'm Bree Pettis, CEO of MakerBot, and I'm going to walk you through the MakerBot creation process. The MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer is the easiest, fastest, and most affordable tool for making professional quality models. If you're an engineer or an engineer at heart, you can keep a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer right on your desktop and produce amazing high quality models while you work. The MakerBot creation process starts with the digital design. This can be a design that you create using any digital modeling program, or you can download one of thousands of models from our site, Thingiverse.com. Thingiverse is a community forum where people, like you, can share their digital designs. There are over 25,000 things on Thingiverse, and most of them can be made on a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. And the best part? They're all free. Once you've got your digital design, the next step is to open it in MakerBot MakerWare. This is the software that allows you to prepare your model to be made on your MakerBot Replicator 2. MakerBot MakerWare is a brand new software tool developed right here at MakerBot. You can use MakerBot MakerWare to move and scale your model and to arrange it just so on the virtual build plate. When you've got it just how you want it, just press Make It in the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer will begin transforming your digital 3D model into a physical 3D model. The material that the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer uses is a renewable bioplastic called PLA. When you tell the MakerBot Replicator 2 to make something, it begins by pulling the PLA filament that's spooled in the back up through this tube and into the extruder. The extruder heats it up and squishes it through a very small hole onto the build plate. It starts by laying down the bottom layer of your 3D model. Then the platform moves the object down a tiny bit so the extruder can lay down the second layer. The process continues for the next layer, and the next layer, and the next layer. This process can take some time because each layer can be as fine as 100 microns. When you're done, you'll have a professional quality model that doesn't require any sanding or finishing. Now you know how a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer works and it's time to set your mind in motion thinking about how you're going to use yours and what you're going to make. Whether you're an engineer, an industrial designer, a researcher, or just somebody who likes to make things, the MakerBot Replicator 2 can help bring your ideas to life. You can learn more about the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer at makerbot.com replicator2.